Uh, so hi everyone. Today we will be talking about a very important topic that is what are GGUF LLM models. So before we start, uh, if you have been active on the LLM front, you must be knowing that most of the major LLMs now comes in two versions. One is a baseline version that is a basic name. Other is a GGUF format of that version. So if you can see there, 5.3, uh, Llama 3, 8 billion model. All these are having the GGUF versions as well. So what is GGUF? Let's try to understand that. Both GGUF and GGML are file formats, which uh, provides quantization to LLM models. Quantization basically helps you to reduce the model size and hence aids in faster inferencing of LLM models on and enabling them for consumer grade CPUs as well. So by consumer grade, I wish to say that personal computers also, which don't have GPU. So basically GGUF format is a game changer so that LLMs are enabled for uh, the common folks as well. And if you have used the baseline formats of these LLMs into your local system without a GPU, you must be knowing the pain point. Like it takes at times half an hour or one hour to inference a single prompt. So that is why GGUF formats are very, very important. GGUF format is very fastly replacing GGML format. So GGML came first. After that, GGUF is a improvement of GGML format. So in this particular tutorial, we will try to understand the different features of GGUF format. So the, the best part about GGUF format is the single file deployment. So basically, if you have used Hugging Face uh, model for inferencing purposes, you must have loaded a tokenizer also apart from the model. So there are two files that you are loading and at times other files also. But in case of a GGUF model, everything is collaborated into one file. Hence, you don't need to maintain multiple files for a model. Improved CPU performance, no doubt. GPU mo uh, GGUF models can efficiently run on CPU hardware and is very, very useful uh, when you are using LLMs for compute limited systems. Like you don't have GPU, you don't have much a bigger size CPUs, etc. Quantization support, as I already told you, GGUF supports quantization for LLM models, hence reducing the size of the model also. Availability is a big question. As I just showed you that most of the models are now available in GGUF format also, like 5.3, the latest one, uh, followed by Llama 3 also. So these are the two latest one. And I showed you that people have already come up with a GGUF model also. So they are now very widely available and compatibility Talking about compatibility, uh, GGML format that we talked earlier is only compatible with legacy systems and hence GGF is replacing it faster, which provides better compatibility, extensibility and performance. So this is why GGF LM models are very, very important because uh, if you're working on limited resources, if you wish to use limited resources and limited memory and want to have faster inferencing. I think GGUF LLM models are, should be your go-to solution rather than loading the entire baseline models. So hi everyone, my new book Land Chain in Your Pocket, Beginner's Guide to Building Gen A Applications Using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below.